Good to see you again, McGinn. We're back with another read aloud because we are creeping close to our uh, holiday uh, Halloween parade tomorrow uh, here at school. I'm going to keep with the Halloween theme as we move into the weekend and you guys get to go out and do your trick-or-treating. Uh, we're going to read a little story today that is called The Teeny Tiny Ghost and it's written by Kay Winters. So here we go. Once there was a timid, teeny tiny ghost. He lived in a teeny tiny house with two teeny tiny black cats. The teeny tiny ghost went to teeny tiny school. He learned his teeny tiny alphabet, shivered at spooky stories, and heard about Halloween. He had never been out on that night, but it sounded very scary. Each day after school, the teeny tiny ghost tried to do his homework. Haunting is very hard, he told his teeny tiny black cats. They sat on the windowsill to watch. First he booed, then he hooed, until he made the rafters rumble, and he had to hide his teeny tiny head. Then he howled, and he yelled, until the echoes came a-calling, and he had to hide his teeny tiny head. I'll never learn, wailed the teeny tiny ghost. I'm so timid, I scare myself. And a teeny tiny tear slid down his cheek. His teeny tiny cats climbed on his lap, licked his teeny tiny face, and purred their teeny tiny purrs. On Halloween night, some eerie yellow lights bobbed by the house of the teeny tiny ghost. What's that? He said, holding his cats close, and his teeny tiny heart beat bumpity bump. Then he heard, rap tap tap, on his teeny tiny door. Who's there? called the teeny tiny ghost. Let us in, cried the voices, and they sounded very big. The teeny tiny ghost looked around. Could he hide? He slipped inside the grandfather clock, but he shivered and shook till he made the clock chime. Bing bong, bing bong, bing. The teeny tiny ghost thought his head would explode. He undid the latch and escaped. Rap tap tap came the knocking on his teeny tiny door. Let us in, cried the voices, and they sounded very loud. The teeny tiny cats meowed and meowed. Don't be afraid, said the, tiny te said the teeny tiny ghost. I won't run away. I'll keep you safe. We have to be very, very brave. The teeny tiny ghost took a long, large breath. He huffed and he puffed until he felt very big. He booed and he wooed till he felt very bold. He howled, then he yelled, and he sounded very loud. And then he heard hands clapping, and he heard voices cheering. Bravo for the teeny tiny ghost. It's Halloween, trick or treat, cried the ghosts from his school. And they pranced about in costumes and masks. His best friend Gilbert wore a blue sailor suit. He tooted tiny tunes on a teeny tiny horn. His teeny tiny teacher had a hat and a cape. You can be a magician with your teeny tiny cats. Then the teeny tiny ghost and his teeny tiny friends sailed up the street on parade. They tapped on teeny windows. They rapped on tiny doors while jack-o'-lantern smiled in the bat black night. The teeny tiny ghost gave a teeny tiny giggle, and whispered to his teeny tiny cats, Happy Halloween. 
And I hope you enjoyed that story, McGinn. We'll be back with one more to wrap up the week tomorrow. Have a great night. Take care.